Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And recently we released an add-on called WP Event Manager's Event Sliders. So that lets you create beautiful sliders using events data, okay? So today's video, we're gonna talk about the event sliders knowledge base. So with every plugin of ours, we give you a knowledge base where you can find guides and customization tips for that add-on itself okay and i'm gonna take you through the documentation or the knowledge base and i'm gonna like explain a bit about the knowledge base and what's it about but worry not in future we will have explanation and demonstration video about those knowledge base in this channel as well so this is a bare minimum interaction right so to get started we're gonna visit our official website then you can visit uh, help center and from there you can go to knowledge base right and from there you can search for event sliders or you can scroll down to add-ons and click on show all articles you will find event slide right before the event tags okay so let's click that and it will take you to the entire event slider documentation so over here we give you uh, like the installation methods of the uh, event slider itself okay you can use automatic installation or manual installation so automatic install means like you download the plugin package and upload it from uh, your plugin section or manual means you can uh, upload it uh, via your ftp then unzip it inside your wp contains then plugins directory okay so how to get started with event slider if you ask event slider you can use elementor or you can use a short code so Elementor lets you create beautiful page designs without like using any codes. So just using drag and drop elements, but you can use short codes as well. So that's been explained over here, right? And you can have the event slider in a page uh, via a different way as well, okay? So this is the first method and it's easy enough. Uh, we will have a video about how to get it started. So event slider has a short code named event slider. It has some uh, parameters or attributes as well. Okay, so that we're gonna explain later on in this video. Or if you want just a bare minimum event slider, you can just create a page and then input this uh, event slider shortcode over there to get started. Okay, so I'm coming back to the slider shortcode attributes later on. Let me show you how to get started with event slider using a page template. So uh, in this channel, we showed you how to create a blank page template for yourself uh, using PHP, right? So if you are not sure what I'm talking about, you can look it up in this channel. We have a video about how to create a new page template for your WordPress environment. So using that method and the shortcode, we can create an event slider page uh, on a blank uh, page right so that's pretty simple and we will have a demonstration as well about this uh, method over here and below here you will find a front end view of the slider such as uh, image representation and the responsive view of the slider as well okay so this image is a bit malformed okay but we will fix it and then at the bottom you have like the uh, how to override or the customized template files for the event slider add-on Okay. So these are the introductions about the topics on the event slider knowledge base and we're going to have a in-depth explanation and demonstration in this channel. So keep tuned. So stay tuned for those. Okay, but uh, coming back to the shortcode attributes, let me explain what are those but we are not demonstrating anything over here right now. We will have a separate video for each attribute in this channel. So what featured attribute does? Uh, you can like literally read them and understand what they are for, but let me go, go ahead and give you a rundown. Featured uh, tag will show only the featured events in the website inside that event slider, okay? So you can set it to true or false, or you can leave it out to show all the events in the website uh, inside the slider, okay? And then you have canceled. So same principle, either expects true or false. If true, it will show only the canceled event inside that slider. Otherwise, and if you set it to false, then it will show only the non-canceled event or active events inside that slider. And if you leave it out, it will show all the events, whether it's canceled or not canceled in the slider itself, okay? So event online, uh, this is to control whether to show only online events inside that slider or not. And then we have limit. So this controls how many events you want to display inside that slider. Okay, then like this expects a numeric value that you can set. So if you set it to five, it will show only five uh, like events inside the slider. So total five slides. And then we have order by. So this is to control the sorting mechanism. Accepted values are title, ID, name, modified, uh, parent, random, even start date and featured. Then we have the order mechanism. So either it's ascending or descending order uh, depended by this order by value. 
okay so navigation it controls the navigation arrows uh, like two arrows at two side to control the slider dots so this will show like how many uh, slides are there so like slider dots this parameter is to control them then we have infinite so infinite it means like endless slider okay so it won't stop after you reach the last slider in the uh, array or like in the slide okay so infinite if you set it to true it will always loop the slider no matter how many time you reach the ending if you set it to false it will stop after you reach this last slide on the sliders okay so then we have adaptive height okay so this is used to control uh, the slide size based on the event banner okay otherwise uh, if you have adaptive size to true then it will adjust the uh, slide height respected to the banner size or the banner image or if you set it to false the height will be a static value that will be applied to all the event slides okay so we will have a demonstration about this as well then we have autoplay this is pretty much self-explanatory it's either true or either false so true means event slides will get autoplayed upon loading or it will not right then we have autoplay speed so this is a millisecond value that you can provide there uh, with the event slider add-on when autoplay is true right so you can control how frequently the slides will get changed okay so that's pretty much it that's pretty much all the attributes we have for the event slider add-on as of now so that's the introduction to our knowledge base for event slider come join me in our next video where we will have a demonstration about uh, these topics over here and how to utilize them right so until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one